Hi, and welcome back to Moon, and welcome to the second episode of Fishing with Fred. In the first episode, I lost a big fish. Oh, and then we have a fish, yeah. And it's a better one also. It's not, it's not, oh, I lost it. Ah, oh, man, that was a better one. And I've been thinking, maybe it's because I should catch it on a fly rod. Destiny wasn't for me to catch it on a spinning rod. We're back on moon, it's winter. The big colored trout are up in the stream spawning and left for us on the coast is the price of it all, the big silver chrome sea trout. Up oh, and there's a fish. It's a small one, just a small one. But what a start, like the first real cast. And there's a small fish. There you go. Uh, small fish. Release. Phone is ringing. I don't mind. Is it the kindergarten? Wanting me to pick up my kid. I can't. Dad's busy. Dad's busy. Got a fish in first cast. I don't know what it is about the sea trout. I've always been fishing. I've been fishing perch, pike as a kid. And then in my teenage years, as everyone else, I started skateboarding, snowboarding, and drinking beers. And then in my mid-20s, an ex-father-in-law introduced me to sea trout fishing. And then I started fishing again a lot, mostly for sea trout. But later on, I started trying all other kinds of trout, salmon, all salmonoid fish. But I always return to sea trout fishing as the best of it all. I guess it's the freedom of having the vast ocean, the coast, and there's not a lot of rules. If I was a fish, I would be, I would be out there. Mm, bad cast. Bad cast. So, do a roll cast, a back cast, and out. And it looks like this. Amazing. I love it. Tailing loop. This is how it's supposed to look. Yeah, this is good. This is good. Okay, so one of the things I do to at least minimize my bad, bad casts is do one roll cast and then try to just keep the number of blind casts down to a minimum. Then I believe there's <laughs> less chance of me doing uh, wind knots or what not. How did I do this? What is this? They call it wind knots. Like in spin fishing, coastal fly fishing for sea trout doesn't have to be super complicated either. You need a nice fast rod that can cast far and uh, a line that fits the rod preferably an in intermediate slow intermediate and a floating line also for other conditions or other times a year it's nice to have a stripping basket or flexi stripper i have a pink one because i got a black and a pink one and i got the pink one for my girlfriend and she said no way and i said it's not for you to decide so here i am and then you need a fly box. Uh, mine is not super pro. Um, the pros would probably have like five of each fly and blah, 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 blah. So this is my fly box. Uh, yeah. There's some weird stuff in here. 
There's some really weird stuff in here. To make it simple, I would say you need some shrimp flies, you need some gamma rust, you need some fish imitations, you need something that sinks a bit, you need something that floats a bit, and you need big ones, small ones. Just need a variety, and also actually some dry flies for some periods. So calm today. I'm walking out real quiet at this spot where I caught a lot of fish before. But I'm really, really sneaking out because it's so quiet and it's foggy and I've never really caught much when there's fog and real calm water. It's not known to be the best conditions, but uh, I changed into my favorite fly. I haven't fished that for a while for some reason. I wanted to try something new, but now that I'm struggling so much, I thought might as well go back to my my best fly. I even put on a new cap, one that I caught a lot of fish wearing. So I'm just hoping that there's a little bit change of luck now. I actually love fishing these super calm conditions because you are so focused on everything. As soon as something breaks the surface or just you see this little curl in the surface, you're like, ah, oh, is that a fish? Is that a fish? You need to cover a lot of water, you need to walk by, you need to do a lot of casting. It's simple. I don't get it. In all of these conditions, you can blink. And I have really, really blanked Fil filming for this episode in perfect conditions, and I don't get it. It must be some sort of a dry spell. <sighs> Typical fishing. Apparently, I'm not able to do it without luck or help. So, in next episode, we're gonna talk about superstition. So please comment if you have anything you do when you go fishing. Do you have a luggy hat? Do you have some necklace? Do you have an armband? Do you have something that brings you luck every time you go fishing? I need to know. Please help me. See you in the third episode of Fishing with Brett about superstition in fishing. My face to the sea and my back to the light.